Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a haul for you and this haul is from the Good Neighbor Thrift Shop. And on our way to the thrift shop, we saw a sign on the side of the road that said antique and art sale. So we checked that out and it was a sale in someone's front yard and they were having a fundraiser for a soup kitchen. So I grabbed a couple pieces from the sale and I'll show you those first. And I found this beautiful Celadon trinket dish and it has got hand carved feet and the top has got koi fish on it which might be hard to see in this light and the bottom you can see how it's got the swirl inside really pretty and it also has, oh, it's this piece. There is a stamp on the inside of this piece, but I could not find anything like it. So if you know anything more about this piece, let me know in the comments. And I paid $15 and I just thought it was a beautiful trinket dish. And I grabbed this pitcher and to me, it looks like Italian pottery, but I am not, not 100% sure. I love the deer and forest scene on it. That is what sold me on this piece. The inside is what makes me think that possibly this could be Italian pottery, but there is also a mark on the bottom that I do not recognize and could not find any information on so if you know more let me know and i think i paid five or seven dollars for that piece and then this piece of dragonware that moriage um, made in japan and it is lego japan on the sticker and i just thought it was beautiful piece i love the dragon and the orange glaze, really pretty. And I paid, I think, five, five dollars for that piece. And I found these two pieces of indigenous sand painting. And this one, I believe that is possibly a kachina. Those may be kachinas. And this uh, medicine woman or man and they were $8 for both of them. And then these pieces, my favorite. Absolutely love these pieces. Beautiful gravel art. And this one is Oriental Lute Player. So I guess that is a lute right there. And I love the piece for hanging, love the detail and the gold pieces across the top here. The lights, just so much beauty in this picture. The detail I just think is amazing. And this one is Oriental Tea Time. And beautiful geisha girl. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. Love these pieces. So I do not know if I'm going to sell these or keep these for myself. If I can find a place to hang them, I will probably hang on to them for a while and keep them and enjoy them before I decide to sell them. Really fun, really pretty, really well done. And I paid $20 for both of those, so $10 each. 
And that was everything from that little sale. And then we went thrift store shopping and I found some really great pieces there. I found some pieces of pottery. <laughs> this really pretty vase. And it kind of looks like Tanala, a little bit like Ken Edwards Tanala pieces, but there is no signature. There is no marks anywhere, say Mexico, nothing. So I paid a dollar for it and I really liked the bird and floral design and the butterflies. Really pretty piece. And this one reminds me of dripping chocolate. I don't know, I just think of chocolate when I see this one. It's got a really dark, deep, dark chocolate brown here and then more of a milk chocolate glaze dripping down it. I love the shape, the really skinny um, top here. I just think it's a really pretty shape and it is artist signed on the bottom and it was $2.50 for this piece. And this one I just thought was so unique. I have never seen a brass vase like this with the black and white and this design, the brass around here. It is solid brass and it was $2.00. Really nice piece. And I grabbed four glasses like these, four of these glasses, and they have a coastal design on them. We've got all of those seahorses, the lighthouse, the fish. So four of these for a dollar each. And this wooden fish, I just love the deep dark chocolate color of the wood. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it is a really rich, deep char chocolate brown. And I just thought this was really unique, the carved design in the fish. And the scales are all carved. And it's got a copper, copper piece for hanging. This is definitely vintage because a lot of age to this piece and that was a dollar fifty and I grabbed a pair of sterling silver earrings from Mexico Mexican sterling silver really nice earrings those were two dollars and this nativity scene is wood these are not wood. I think this is some type of a resin, possibly. It's definitely harder than plastic, but not, not ceramic. So I'm not exactly sure. And this was made in Italy and it was $5. Really nice nativity scene. And this piece, Said it once and I will say it again and again. They have the nicest religious pieces in this thrift shop. This one was two dollars. Love the colors. The blues back here and the pinks. And look at the rug. Just beautiful colors in this piece. This print. The Last Supper. And I initially thought this was just a cheap kind of oak um, picture frame, but it's not. It's actually a really nice quality picture frame and I believe it is maple and it's definitely got some age. You can see that it's got nails in there. It's been nailed together rather than, than glued. And this piece has 2956 on the back. So there was at least 2,956 copies of this piece. <laughs> it's not rare, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I paid $2 for that. 
And then this set, which I just thought was adorable. And I actually got two of these sets and these are nativity scenes from Bolivia. And this one said that it was from the year 2000 and they do still make these scenes. I looked online and they do still currently make these pieces and you can buy them online brand new. And, um, but I got two sets for $10 each. So some of them have some chips. So out of all of the pieces, I got a nice big, large unchipped set for myself. So I do not think I'll be reselling these, even though they are considered vintage. The fact that you can buy them online, a whole brand new set, I think it's like under $50 for the set. So I just thought they were adorable. I love the little animals, love the detail. This one's my favorite, the donkey. They almost have that um, artesia, artesia rinconata, artesia, art, art, and nah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I can't say that word. I just can't. I try. <laughs> I gotta practice it. I gotta say it over and over till I can say it properly, but I just can't say it. Artesia. Rinconada. Is that right? <laughs> Don't know. All right, so then I grabbed this poncho. Well, Wendell found it for me. Really fun vintage poncho. And I'm going to put it on. I'm going to show you this at the end of the video. I'll put it on for you at the end of the video and show you what it looks like. We'll show you the rest of this stuff first. And then this is, and I paid $4.50 for this. It is a twin chenille blanket. Very 1970s, 60s, mid-century retro blanket in really nice condition. I did see a couple really, really small little holes in it. I haven't completely examined the whole piece, but for $4.50, that was a really nice, really good deal. And I grabbed some pillowcases. And these are made in Canada. Really 1960s mod really fun pillowcases, really good quality. They're like nice, good quality cotton and in amazing condition for their age. And I believe I paid a dollar each for those. And then this one that I have to wash because I did feel there was something like stuck on it somewhere. So hopefully I can get that out. Man, there's something hard and crusty on it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, something sticky got spilt on it. So I gotta wash it. So I paid a dollar for those. And I'm gonna put on the poncho for you and show you what it looks like. All right, this is the poncho and it was, I think it was $4, really fun. It's got a zipper here so you can unzip it and then the hood comes down over your shoulders. Really fun pulls and it zips right up. So it zips right off and it has a really fun black fringe on the bottom. It's a great little poncho. So I don't know. I don't know if I should sell this or keep it. I'll probably never wear it. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. So I'll probably sell it. But if it's something that you're interested in, please reach out to me because if I don't have to try and take photographs of this, that would be 
That would be amazing because that is the hardest part of clothing is taking photographs and measuring it. So if I don't have someone reach out to me and say they want that, they need it, they gotta have it, it'll probably sit in my room, my Etsy shop for, you know, a very long time because it won't be something that I'll take priority over listing it. So if you need this, let me know. And I'm gonna unzip it and show you what it looks like without getting my hair caught in it. Yeah, so the whole piece unzips. And then it just goes like that. And then there's a zipper here and it unzips there. Fun. All right. That is everything from my haul from the Good Neighbor Thrift Shop and the little antique and art sale. And my total in the Good Neighbor was $47. So I got some really great things and the prices there were really inexpensive. So that's why we love to go there, even though it's a little bit of a drive. Um, we always enjoy going there and finding some goodies. And that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. If you hit the bell button, it'll notify you when I upload new videos. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you got to have this so I don't have to list it. That would be awesome. I will give you a really great deal. And um, that's all for today. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.